<laughs> All right, guys, you know what time it is. We've got six things you should know. And number one on our list, you've probably noticed over the past 20 years, one fruit has surged in popularity. We're talking about the humble avocado, which has seen its consumption quadruple in the U.S. since 2000. More than four billion of them were eaten in the U.S. just in 2015. There's good reason to celebrate this super fruit on National Avocado Day. Avocados are loaded with good fats that do things like improve heart health and help fight Alzheimer's. They're also packed with vitamins and eating them keeps your skin smooth. So look up some avocado recipes and you'll see there are tons of ways to enjoy them. You don't have to wait for chips and guac. Just remember not to counter all the benefits by drinking too many margaritas. <laughs> That's hard to do on a Friday and over the weekend, but you and I love some avocados. You, yeah, it's interesting. I don't think I had an avocado until I was maybe in my 20s. I probably had one on a sandwich, but now I'll just <laughs> cut them up and eat them just the way that they are. I love exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah. You can definitely just eat it. Grab a spoon and I literally just scoop it They're and so eat good. it. Maybe with a little bit of salt. Got to get to them quick though. That's so true. Yeah. It's like a banana. It's like I still haven't mastered like how to keep them how they like are right off the shelf, you know? Someone told me like once you open it, once you cut it up, put a little salt on it and then put it in the fridge and then that makes it last a little longer. Really? Mm. I've been trying everything. <laughs> Nothing's working. Maybe I'll <laughs> give that a run. All right, guys, and if you're holding out to get your hands on the latest iPhone, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Last year, new iPhone started selling in late September, but now the tech giant announced this week the latest iPhones will be shipped slightly later than usual this year. Of course, that's due to their disruption in global supply chains thanks to the coronavirus. Or no thanks. Meanwhile, the company announced Blockbuster third quarter earnings amid the pandemic. Apple posted revenue of nearly $60 billion in the three months ending in June. That's a 12% increase from the same period last year in a record June quarter for the company. We just want our iPhones. You're in line for a new one, huh? Send them over. In November, I get a brand new one, and it cannot just come soon enough. Down, yeah. I'm pumped. All right, guys, and Walmart is rolling out new technology to help employees help shoppers. So the retail giant has developed a vo voice-activated app just for workers. It's called Ask Sam. Staffers can use it to help find products in the store, look up prices, and even get real-time emergency alerts. The company also using the app to keep workers up to date about coronavirus issues. Ask Sam won't be available to the customers on the Walmart shopping app, but it does include a store maps and a price scanner. Not to be confused with Simon Says. There's so many now. <laughs> so you have Alexa, <laughs> Siri, now we have Sam. It's really good though. I have Alexa in my house and I forget that I have her sometimes, but I do like the feature where you ask her what time it is and she'll be like, it's 7, 10 a.m. Have a great morning. I just got one, too. I love it. It's so just good. She plays music all day. She's so polite. All right, guys, and NASA's Perseverance rover has left planet Earth and is now en route to, to the red planet. The spacecraft carrying the rover, its Ingenuity helicopter to Mars, launched Thursday from Cape Canaveral, Florida, and Perseverance is scheduled to touch down at the Jezero Crater. Is that how you say that? The Jezero. Jezero Crater on Mars in February 2021 after a seven month journey. Among other things, Perseverance will search for signs of ancient microbial life and collect samples for a possible return to Earth. Yeah, NASA says the mission can pave the way for human exploration beyond the moon. According to the Space Agency, Perseverance is its most advanced rover to attempt the trip to Mars. NASA Administrator Jim Burdenstein also said it's the first time NASA is going to Mars with the explicit mission of finding life on another world. Are we ready to find what we might find on Mars? I just hope they send up a really good camera so it can beam back <laughs> some amazing <laughs> images of Mars. Hoping can it does get there. Can someone FaceTime us whenever you make it up there? We need to see what's Is going it possible? On. Could we have equipped the robot with a. Honestly, something? if we were getting like a live feed as they land, that would be insanity. Maybe they are. <laughs> Maybe there is a live feed. I don't know. Is there? There could be. Okay, we got to yeah. find out now. All right, guys, and talk about a swift move. Taylor Swift changes the branding of her album after her organization was accused of copying a logo. Amelia Rasool is the founder of The Folklore, an online retailer, and she posted photos of Swift's merchandise, including cardigans that bear the phrase The Fol Folklore Album. Rasool says the designer of those products ripped off my company's logo. According to InStyle, Swift removed the merchandise from her site, replacing them with a new design that reads Folklore Album. Album, Swift sent a message to Rasul saying she admired her work and was making a donation to her company. Well, good for her. At least she corrected her mistake. And it is, man, it's a good album. Is it good? No, it's good. I've heard that. 
and I was like, I don't want to listen to it. I don't want to listen to it. I did. It's good. Is it explicit? No. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, <laughs> like somebody had told me there might have been might have been a warning on a few of those songs. Yeah, so. there's a few curse words in there. She's getting a little feisty on Too us. Swift. I like it though. Okay. I like it. You got to check it out. All right, and move over, friends. Several classic sitcoms from the 90s are making a comeback, courtesy of Netflix. So this week, the streaming giant announced it is adding seven classic Amer African-American shows from the 1990s and early 2000s. That list includes hit shows like Sister, Sister, Moesha, in the game. Yes, yeah, sitcoms will all start streaming on Netflix in the weeks to come. The company shared the news on its official Twitter account for Netflix's Strong Black Lead. It launched Strong Black Lead in 2018 to amplify both black content and black creators. I'm actually really excited about this. Sister Sister was one of my favorite shows growing was it really? up. And I've watched it in Spanish. And by now we've all run out of stuff to watch, so let's and honestly, Keep adding some more stuff. I'm gonna just put this out there. Friends is not a good show. Don't like it, huh? I do not like it. Why? It's just not funny. Doesn't do anything for you? No, it's just not a different at all. time. I mean, I guess, but there's so many people like my age that are obsessed with it, and I, and I tried watching it, and I was like, you know, I don't know about this. Seinfeld? Uh, you ever try watching Seinfeld? I don't like that either. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, got some homework for you to do. <laughs> it's not good. You know what I do like, though? The Office. Yeah. My favorite show of all time. There it's you too go. good. All right, guys, stay with us. We're talking to Shrek about their latest art exhibits that you can enjoy this weekend while still social distancing. And later, we're having some fun in the kitchen, teaching you how you can make infused spirits right at home. Now, lots of exciting things happening at Cyport for the entire family. Fernanda and I will be bringing you all those details later in the show. We'll be right back.